Hey guys, I'm Alex and uh, we took a break from our regular projects and we started working on prototyping uh, some sort of device that will work on uh, ventilating the patients uh, with issues like um, uh, pneumonia or other respiratory illnesses. So this is what we came up with so far. It's still work in progress. Uh, we, we saw some of the issues of this design and I'm optimizing it to have it working properly. We'll make some uh, connectors so we can put the holes on this mask. Put this one here to see what kind of pressure it's needed to push. Uh, and I will explain what we did in, uh, in case there are others working on this kind of devices. Maybe then can learn a few things. Uh, we used a bigger motor than the one found on the 3D printer. We used parts from a old 3D printer like this 8 millimeter rods. Uh, we used the pulley here and the limit switch that that's used to zero when uh, it's starting first time so we know how much it moves so it's basically like a regular CNC machine uh, but with one axis so let's go into the software a bit and see what we have here so we have the breathing speed here we have the volume of air and it's in percentage of the movement uh, you have the rest period uh, between respirations, so it's one second at the moment and the interval uh, to wait for the exhale and this is how you set it, so if you want to change the speed you do this to set a different volume of air use a dial to make it push slightly maybe for ventilating different types of patients so here you set the time between breaths Here we set the motion allows, which it's in, in steps. That will give the work area of the machine. We aim to make this uh, easy to work with, like make the software easy to work with for different mechanics. So you should be able to put any type of wheels or belts that you find to make this happen and then you adjust the software to make the proper movement without the need to modify too much of it. So yeah, this is the prototype so far. Uh, we plan to release uh, the plans and the DIY videos and all that in a, in a few days, one or two days. We're working on the final version to make this easy to print and reliable fix all the issues that we have because the design right now has the belt on top and that made this huge things and we also need to to push slightly like you use fingers instead of these parts here so it it makes it easier to push for the motor and yeah we'll uh, we'll release all the plans all the files we'll make some videos on how to use it we're waiting for some parts uh, like a PIP valve that uh, I learned about it that makes it easier to 
to treat this kind of illness gives a positive exhale pressure to the patients and uh, yeah let me know what your suggestions are if uh, if you have anything to comment about it uh, let me know and we'll keep in touch thanks for watching guys and uh, all the best with all this issue bye